and welcome to my channel i hope all of my beautiful my powerful and my sexy scorpios out there are doing well all right you guys so this is going to be a new moon and this is going to be the new moon reading today okay so we're going to start off pulling some astrology and we're just going to see what spirit has for you guys if anything resonates or anything you want to know about me scorpio will be in the description box below okay if it resonates my bad i just went blank if it resonates don't forget to like share subscribe and comment and anything you want to know about me will be in the description box below, okay? All right, Scorpios, let's go. So we have a trine that's going on, okay? So some of you could be having some type of trine aspect in your chart. This talks about the same elements, the same elements, Lord. Y'all know I be telling y'all when these, when these moon energies, I'm telling you, that's why I name myself the moon goddess. Like, I, when I tell y'all I can't talk, like, I don't know what the moon has to do with my tongue and communication, but I can't talk worth a damn. Try it again. The same elements are 120 degrees apart, <laughs> working together and complementing each other. They're showing your natural strength. Okay, so when you have a trine in your chart, this means that you have the same elements that are 120 degrees apart. Okay, that means you got Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio. Okay, the same elements, same fire, same uh, uh, water, the same earth. Okay, you got the same elements that are 120 degrees apart. But they're all working together to complement each other, okay? And when they do this, Scorpio, this shows your natural strength, your natural talent. One has to be aware of their power and fully use it, okay? So first, you got to be aware that you got this power, you got this natural talent and strength, okay? And then once you realize that shit, use it, Scorpio. All right, then we have the sun, okay? So this could be now, Scorpio. So there could be a trine going on now here in Leo season. Okay, there could be a trine, Scorpio, going on, going on in your fourth house, okay? So something could be trining with the sun in, in your fourth house. Okay, so maybe you have fire placements in your fourth house here or water placements. We got, uh, this is ruled by the moon and cancer, okay? So this talks about how you nurture yourself and how you show yourself self-love, okay? So the sun could be trining somewhere in your fourth house, okay? And spirit is wanting you really to focus on self-love and nurturing yourself, okay? Ask yourself, Scorpio, how do I nurture myself? When you, when you feel down, okay, or, or, when you show yourself self-love, like, what do you do to show yourself love, Scorpio? How do you appreciate yourself? How do you show your self-love, okay? This also, also talks about fulfilling emotional needs, okay? So you can be focusing more on your emotional needs and how they are or are not being met. This talks about foundation, security. Also, you can be reflecting back to, like, your childhood. I know I have. I've been, oh, man, it's crazy. I definitely have been reflecting back to my childhood, okay? And how you respond emotionally. So now you could be thinking about now that you're an adult and how you could have responded emotionally now, okay? Or how you can emotionally respond to things now. So this moon energy can have you a little bit emotional. You're thinking more about your emotional needs. You could experience wanting you to focus more on nurturing yourself. Also, you can be thinking about your childhood. Okay, there can be a trine somewhere. The sun could be aspecting something in your seventh house. Okay, the seventh house has to do with relationships and marriage, you guys. Okay, so our seventh house will be in our seventh house in tour season. Okay, tour season represents our seventh house. Our seventh house. Right now we're in our tenth house. So this is ruled by Libra and Venus. This has to do with attraction. This talks about your main partner, okay, work relationships, significant re friendships, seeing a part of yourself that you don't like, and then seeing it and others trigger you, okay? So this means, Scorpio, you can be meeting people. 
This you could be meeting people. These could be people you work with, your friends, even your spouse, your lover, whoever. It's like you can start to see a little bit of yourself in these people. And you like, hold on. I don't like this shit. But then when you think about it, you're like, damn, that's how I am too. Okay, so this talks about maybe seeing things that trigger you, okay, within other people that make you really want blah, make you want to change some things about yourself. Okay, so these triggers could be good triggers because they're making you change, making you see some things about yourself, okay? This also talks about living or marrying someone, okay? Okay, Scorpio, so someone here could be thinking about, like, living in a home, relationship, or living together or something here. Let's see what's being activated, and we're going to see what's going on here. As soon as I open the deck, we got the heart chakra, and we got the third eye chakra here, okay? We're going to see if it come out. What is being activated for my Scorpios during this full moon? What is this full moon in? Anyway, I just thought the new moon is in. I mean, the full moon is in Virgo. What is this new moon in? Somebody tell me, please. All right, Holy Spirit. <laughs> what is being activated? Did I put it in my phone? I'm sure I did. Nope, damn sure did. But, ooh, Scorpio. I got some, okay, so you guys, I be listening to readings too, you know, and I, I just have to look at this. Remember, I did a reading earlier that stated something about something could happen today. And then I got in my phone that something significant can happen today. And I heard this on 222, okay. All right, then, we're going to see, Scorpio. Yeah, maybe I wasn't supposed to be saying it. Okay. So what's being activated, Scorpio, is your belief system. And if because of this, Scorpio, you can be seeing 11, 11, okay? So with this house of relationships and this attraction, the main part of some of you guys, we're talking about your divine counterpart, okay? And for others of you, okay, with this belief, it talks about your gifts and your talents, okay? Because remember, we're here on this card, it says one has to be aware of their power and fully use it. So these same elements are working together to show your natural strength. So you must believe in yourself. First, you must believe. You must be aware that you have these gifts and you have these talents. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I just said that. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for that confirmation. You must believe in yourself. You must be aware of these things so that you can display it, so that you can show the world, okay? So your belief system could be activated during this new moon energy, okay? Spirit is wanting you to know that you are worthy, okay? Focus on your self-worth. Focus on your gifts and talents and your connection with source, okay? So you can be focusing on, on meditating right now. That's how you get a, a closer connection to source, which is God here. All right, so 11-11, Scorpio, could be significant. Tell us more, Holy Spirit. Let me get a sip. Okay, messages for my Scorpio. What is being activated around this new moon? Coherence, okay? Scorpio, you could have been born 11, 13. This talks about your ability to harmonize with the frequency of the heart. Look at that thing, makes up. The heart and the mind. <laughs> what did I just say, Scorpio? I said I seen the heart chakra and the third eye chakra. Boy, you better come on through the spirit. Okay, so doing this new moon, Scorpio, this is in this, uh, what is being activated is our ability to harmonize the frequency of the heart along with the frequency of the mind. Okay, so what this means, Scorpio, at times, sometimes our heart and mind are out of sync. You know what I'm saying? Our heart be telling us to do one thing and our mind be like, nah, bitch, don't you do that, okay? So this talks about now we're going to learn how to harmonize the heart and the mind, okay? Your heart Whatever your heart wants, your mind, okay? Because sometimes, you know, our heart wants one thing, but your mind tell you no. But it's like now your heart and mind are going to be in alignment to what you want, okay? Or what somebody here is wanting or desires, okay? And could be creating this. So someone could be believing in themselves that they can create a new opportunity or they can go towards something that they really want and desire here, okay? And this has to do with the relationship, Scorpio. Like the new moon here, like this could be the energy for you guys, but this could be the energy for someone that you're dealing with here, okay? Okay, Scorpio, you can be dealing with a Cancer or a Libra. Even Libra season, you guys, could be significant here. 
Tell us more, Holy Spirit. What is being activated with this new moon? Nah, I'm in the Try not to go too long. I'm going to get one more. Sacral chakra. Two, two. Man. What did I just say, Scorpio? I said two, two, two. I'm going to have to go back and listen to this mug. Okay. This talks about your ability to flow with your desires, create power, and manifest success and abundance in your life. So, Scorpio, I feel like spirit is wanting you, first of all, for your heart and mind to become in sync, okay? Align with what you want so that you can create what you desire here, okay? So that you can manifest this success. Like, some of us are supposed to be very successful, Scorpio. You supposed to, like, you supposed to be very successful, Scorpio. I'm supposed to be very successful. Like, we're all supposed to be very successful, okay? Well, you have to manifest these things. See, I'm just talking and putting on... <laughs> Anyway, you have to manifest these things, okay? You have to manifest this abundance in your life. You have to be able to create these things. But first, you have to know that you are worthy. If you don't know that you are worthy of these great things, you ain't going to never be able to create these things. You ain't going to never be able to manifest these things. When I manifest these things, Scorpio, you can be born 11 13, 11 2. 222 11 11 13 13. Let's go to the astrology. Messages for my Scorpios, Holy Spirit. Tell us more. Someone Scorpio could be thinking about their emotional needs, okay? And and how their emotional needs could be fulfilled. Okay, so someone could be in a situation now where I feel like after getting out of a situation or something, like they're thinking about ways to love themselves and nurture themselves and how their emotional needs can be fulfilled because in the past, because of a shaky foundation or a, a false security or a false relationship, okay, somebody here realized that the foundation that they had established with somebody, this shit went good, okay? So now somebody, now that someone here is starting to focus on themselves, okay, starting to love themselves, they're starting to focus on their emotional needs, okay? And then they're thinking about, okay, what would a partner look like? Like, what would my significant other, like, how is my significant other going to be able to focus on my needs? Like, someone here could be looking at you as someone that could focus, that could give them what they need and fulfill them emotionally here. Tell me more, Holy Spirit. Because sacral chakra has to do with emotions as well. What you desire here. Tell us more, Holy Spirit. Messages for my Scorpio. 12, 12 on the clock as I'm saying it. Emotions are running hot. Man, I think, man. <laughs> what I say, Scorpio, say it with me one time. I can't make this shit up. Look at this. Emotions are running hot. I can't even get it out of my damn mouth. Look at this. Super moon. And we have a super moon. Y'all, check out that last reading I did. What was the name of that last reading? Because it talks about a full moon or something can happen today. I'm going to have to go back and look at it now, Scorpio. Emotions are going to be running high. Someone here is figuring out what this, okay. Someone here is figuring out what they want, okay. And I feel like they're figuring out what they want after being in a situation to where their emotional needs, their security, their foundation, like none of this shit wasn't fulfilling. You know what I'm saying? Someone here that was in, a, in an unstable connection okay that foundation was shaky it was stable so that mean anybody could have came through and you know what i'm saying shake it up or whatever like you got to build a foundation with someone and how you build a safe and secure and stable foundation with someone is you really take time to get to know them you just know this person inside now you know what i'm saying you can finish this person with sentences before they can even say it. like you know what's on this person's mind like you had a telepathic communication like this person can look at you and be like, is you ready to go? Shit, me too. Like, you are, you know what I'm saying? Like, you read each other's mind. Like, that's how you really build a foundation. You really get to know one another, okay? Like, like you really become someone's best friend. That's why I understand when they say in a marriage, like, that person has to be your best friend. Because your best friend, you ain't gonna, man, your best friend gonna be somebody you wanna tell all your good news to, your bad news. Like, you wanna call them, you wanna talk to them, you wanna be around them. You and your best friend wanna go everywhere. Like, don't you and your bestie? I don't know about y'all, I ain't got no besties. You know what I'm saying? But, I had some back in the day, but I ain't had no business in a while. But, you know, you and your bestie, y'all want to go everywhere. You want to do everything but your bestie. That's what your divine counterpart is supposed to be with. Be like, that's what your husband, that's what your significant other. This is a marriage. This is what a marriage and a relationship is supposed to be like. I don't know, Scorpio. I ain't been married, but 
this is what the this energy I'm getting, okay? This is what this person has realized. Like, this is what a marriage in a relationship is supposed to be like, okay? And I feel like emotions are running high because someone here is realizing and understand, like, what they desire, like, what they really want out of a marriage here, okay? Out of a relationship. Tell us more, Holy Spirit. Mm. Yeah. And I feel like, okay, so this situation that happened between you in the past, thank you, Holy Spirit, for allowing me to see this. Okay. So this situation, there's a situation that happened between you and this person in the past. Okay. And like I said, because this was this person, these things were not being met for this person. Their emotional needs, they weren't loving themselves, they, they weren't nurturing themselves, they weren't securing themselves, you know what I'm saying? Their security was fucked up, okay? So when this when you met this person, I feel like, Scorpio, when you encountered this person, this was the person that you got, this effed up ass person, okay? But I feel like now after someone ha has gone through like some type of journey, after they have started to see things, okay, it's like... This person is realizing what they want in a partner, what they want in a man, and what they want in a woman, okay? And Spirit is saying, don't let, don't let what happened between you and this person in the past hold you back, okay? Because the emotions are going to be running high. I feel like somebody about to come in and just like, like just confess everything, Scorpio, okay? Because the emotions are going to be running high. Like this new moon got somebody on some confession type shit. Okay, and emotions are going to be running high, but you can't let what happened between you and this person hold you back because you and this person have a bright future together. Everything that I described what, what, that, that happens and how you build a foundation, this is what you and this person can have. But see, the problem is some of us are still holding on to the past. And that's why we'll never know what that bright future look like, you know? Even if you don't want nothing with this person, you see it like anybody else coming into your life. Like, you already ruining this shit because it's like you, you holding on to the past here, okay? So that was in the South Node. The South Node talks about lessons. These are the lessons that you have to learn. You have to learn these lessons before you go into your North Node, okay? So your North Node represents your divine true path, okay? So somebody here is, is like, they. I feel like they've completed the cycle. They've ended the lessons here. And it's like now they're going into their north node. Now they're getting ready to face their true north, which talks about their divine path here, okay? Look, man. <laughs> what did I just say, Scorpio? I can't make this shit up. Look at that north node. Well, when I tell you my spirit, guys, thank you, Holy Spirit. When I tell you my spirit team, like, they be like, bitch, we got you. Don't worry about it, Sharon. We got you. Because I'm... Even me doing this, Scorpio, and I be... Man, I don't be bullshitting with y'all. And I be saying, like I said, I'm still about a year... A year and some change into my journey and learn about my gifts and talents as well, okay? And it's like when I tell y'all get up here, like I like I get up here and I do this, like I see this as a job. You know what I'm saying? I get up here and get like, but I don't I don't think twice about none of this shit. So it's like when the shit really be coming out, as I'm saying, and I split the dick, and then this shit coming out, like I really be sitting here like, all right, spirit, okay. Y'all, y'all want like I feel like spirit be wanting me to and all like sometimes Scorpio, we gotta learn to. Acknowledge ourselves, okay? That's why this part I come here. Be aware of your power and fully use your power. Some of us, man, I don't even think, I think I'm talking to myself. That's why I, I got to go back and listen to this shit. Like sometimes, spirit, like some of these readings, I'd be like, that sounds familiar. I'm going to have to go back and listen to this. A lot of us, Scorpio, man, we don't even realize how fucking powerful we are. We don't realize how fucking talented we are. We don't realize how, like, this blessing, like, this gift. Y'all, I promise I get up every morning. And I thank God for my gift, but it's like, but I'm sitting here listening to this read, and I just, I don't even think I, I take time to acknowledge my own gift. You know, like, I read the comments and everything, you know, I see it, but I feel like, I don't know, maybe I'm a little bit too humble. I don't know. But I feel like I got to take time to acknowledge my own gifts and my own power, because I don't feel like I do. And the crazy thing about being a reader, you sitting up here reading this shit and you, you're walking around and be like, damn, Spirit, you talking to me too? Yeah. Spirit be like, yeah, bitch, you just ain't out here giving messages to other Scorpios. This is for you too, okay? And, and this ain't just Scorpio Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. Like, this is everybody. Scorpio, I mean, this is for Scorpio Sun, Moon, Rise, Venus, Lord, no, whatever. 
This ain't, uh, this ain't just all about Scorpio sun. You know what I'm saying? Any placement you got in Scorpio, this is for you. Then they got me all emotions. Look at that. Emotions running high. Now they got me all in my feelings. Now my emotions running high. Because I be feeling like sometimes, yeah. Like these messages be for you guys, but just like it be, like I'm on a journey too, you know? And I have to acknowledge that, you know, I have to acknowledge my gifts. <sighs> Scorpio is, I feel like spirit is, is wanting you and it's you to step out of your comfort zone. Because I feel like for a lot of us, and I know I'm talking to myself as well, which is divine counterparts. I'm looking at this seventh house. Okay, Taurus season, Scorpio could be significant for some of you. What's our fourth house? Aquarius season, fourth house could be significant for some of us. I feel like Scorpio, when these people from our past, not of our counterparts come back, like some of us are still holding on to the past. I know I'm probably still holding on to some. I ain't let go of everything. But in order for you, for especially you, Scorpio, in order for us, if we, you know what I'm saying, if you really want to kind of give someone a chance to kind of prove themselves, you like, you giving this person an opportunity to prove themselves, you Scorpio, it's really going to be you stepping out of your comfort zone. And that's what spirit wants you to do. See, you learned your lesson. What happened between you and this person in the past? Like, that was you being in your south node. Because we had to learn too, Scorpio. We just didn't wake up one day and we was in our north node and we was always facing our true north and all on our divine path. Nah, that ain't how this shit happened. Before we got on our, before we were set on our North Node, before we faced that North Node, we had to go through things in our South Node, okay? Your South Node talks about lessons. During that time, we was indecisive, we was confused, we was all over the place, okay? We was overindulged in the alcohol, we was doing things we weren't supposed to be doing because we were learning. It's, that was our way of shedding, you know what I'm saying, the old layers of ourselves. And sometimes when you shed them old layers, you go backwards and you be doing shit you ain't supposed to be doing, you know what I'm saying? Stuff that you had stopped doing, you do that shit again. It's okay as part of shedding those new layers. But see, when you face that true north, baby, all that shit gonna be behind you. And see, spirit is one of Scorpio to let go of what happened between. Like, don't let what happened in the past between us and our divine counterparts. Anybody from our past, Scorpio, because us facing our true north, it's stepping out of our comfort zone. It's stepping out of our comfort zone, Scorpio. It's to let go of the past. Because a lot of us are still holding on to the past and what happened between us and this person, okay? But see, when you really step out of your comfort zone and you be like, all right, I'm going to hear this person now. I'm going to see what they got to say. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm going to give them a chance. When you, when you first tell yourself, when you believe, when you align with your heart and your mind work, because your heart could be telling you, you still want to change. You still want to get this person opportunity. That's how I feel like my, I feel like my heart and mind, they, they ain't together. My heart, I feel like telling me like, yeah, I possibly can get this man another chance. Okay. In my mind, I keep telling myself, fuck, nah, bitch, you even do this shit. Okay. <laughs> so it's like spirit is wanting our heart and mind to be on one accord. Because for some of us, our heart and mind is not. Our heart is telling us yes and our mind is saying no. Okay. But in order for us to truly see what's going to happen in the connection or, or how we can move forward here, we have to step out of our comfort zone. And stepping out of your comfort zone is giving this person or giving your past a chance, okay? Not allowing what happened, what this person did to you, Scorpio, because we all done did. Like, I can sit here and tell you some things. I ain't told y'all everything my twin done did to me. Some of it I don't even want to reveal. You know what I'm saying? I'm sure y'all have been through the same thing, but I ain't ready. I ain't, I ain't on that part of my journey yet to reveal some of that stuff, you know? But The only way we're going to truly know, Scorpio, what could happen between us and our divine counterpart, anybody from our past, anybody, Scorpio, is we have to step out of our comfort zone. And that's to forgive this person and try to move forward, try to heal. Because I've seen something, it's a time for healing. Because adjustments are going to be required. Yeah. I can't make this up. Look at this, Scorpio. I can't make none of this shit up. Adjustments are going to be required, Scorpio, because it's a time to heal. See, and our staff know we ain't know nothing about healing and forgiving and all that shit. It was like, man, I'm dead. You know, that's what spirit wanted us to do. They want us to be like, forget this person. They want us to walk away. That's what we, we did exactly what we were supposed to be doing. Okay, but now we've learned. Now that we've grown and evolved. Now we see things from different perspectives. Now we understand. Now spirit is saying, you can't let 
what happened between you and this person holds you back, Scorpio? Because that's the person I made for you. Yeah, they did you wrong. Yeah, this and that happened. I know some of you had them stories that stream Scorpio had. We have to use our own discernment on this part, okay? Don't chop my head off when I say this. But what I'm saying is, it's a time to heal this situation. And the only way you're going to be able to heal this situation between you and this person is for you to step out of your comfort zone. And the only way you're going to be able to step out of your comfort zone is to make some type of adjustments. Okay? And adjust your mind and your heart. So they can become on one accord, okay? All right, I was 25 in Scorpio. I wasn't trying to go that long. All right, so who was this, who was this reading about Holy Spirit? We have Heavy Scorpio. We have Gemini Aries. We have Leo, Libra, Virgo, and Sag. And we also have Heavy Taurus. Capricorn and Cancer. All right, you guys, I love you. And until next time, Scorpio, 25, 25 on the clock as I'm saying this. Till next time, baby, stay blessed.